this question here because um, you know I'm going to go about I've been teaching this course for a long time and I found the best way to go about it is sort of simulate things and talk about what we're doing along the way but I'm going to ask you a question and the reason I'm asking you this question is for a very good reason I'm going to ask you how many children do you have so I'll um, refer to certain things along the way as I go through these exercises. So we'll start here. We'll ask you, how many children do you have? One. OK. Zero. Zero. Let's go back here. Okay, let's see. How about if we just end right here? Now note a few things. Let's note a few things about what I just did. Does anybody know what I just did? What's it called? I'm, I'm, first of all, I am gathering data. So I just gathered data. I'm interested in obtaining certain information. And so what I did was I gathered data. Now, does anybody know, where did I gather my data? Where did I gather this data? See, that's important, too. You've got you to understand the context in which you gather the data. Who did I ask? Students. College students. Is that right? But in particular, which college students? ELAC college students. Is that right? Can we say anything further? Can't we say maybe ELAC college students enrolled in Math 227, Section 1006? So here's what I'm going to say to you, that if I let this class be the population, okay, the group I'm interested in gathering information about, this population is going to be defined to be Math 227, Section 1006. Okay. Did I ask everybody in the class this question? Did I gather information from everyone? No, I didn't. Is that true? Some of you guys, most of you, I didn't even ask. So really, this data is gathered from not everyone in the population, but what? Anybody know? It's gathered from who? We call it in statistics, we have taken a sample. OK, so let me write this down. This data was gathered from a sample. What do you think a sample actually is, by definition? A sample, ladies and gentlemen, is a subset of the population. Anybody know what a set means in mathematics? You guys know the definition of a set? A set is just simply a list of objects, a list of things. It's a list. A set is a list. So if I look at this roster, right, Math 227, Section 1006, do you guys know that I have a list of names? Yeah, our population? I didn't ask everybody on that list. I asked everybody from a sub list, meaning the list within the roster. Is that true? OK. So this is known as a sample. I took a sample. Now, 
I want to say something about this sample as well. Because um, what I did in some sense in terms of taking a sample isn't very good. It's not very good. Does anybody know what I did? How did I take the sample? Huh? Anybody know? It wasn't random. What does random mean? What is ran like, like when you say random in the context of taking a random sample, do you guys know what that word random means? What that means is that everybody has an equal chance of being selected. You know when I did the lottery here to s determine who's going to get in and who isn't, right? Did you guys know that that was random? Why was that random? Because everyone had what? An equal chance. How do you know they had equal chance? How do you know it was equal? But what do we mean by equal chance? They all had a possibility of being selected, but I can skew it where some people have an unequal chance of being selected in that lottery for the class, right? But the reason it was an equal chance is because everyone had only one number, right? We didn't pick a name like, let's say, you know, Eddie Villanueva. His name, I didn't put Eddie stands for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then everyone else has their number. That would not be an equal chance. So when you say everyone had an equal chance of being selected, their name corresponded to exactly one number. And then we shook that thing up. And so we closed our eyes and we picked a number without knowing who it was. And because everybody had only one number, the chance was equal. That was a random you know, sample of names, if you want to look at it that way. That was random. That's really what the definition of random is. Okay? But this sample that I just took was not random. Anybody know anything about this? What do you think? What happened? What did I do? I just took what? The first two rows. I just asked people in the first two rows. The people in the back probably felt left out. The people on the sides probably felt left out. Why did I only ask people in the first two rows? Exactly. It was convenient for me. OK? It was just convenient. You know, I was sort of lazy. I don't want to go ask you know, around the sides and then in the back. And I took whatever was convenient for me. OK? So I just want to point out to you that this sample that I took was a convenient sample. Convenient samples aren't very good. They aren't very good because they're a matter of convenience. It's, a, it's sort of like this. Your book gives a good explanation in that first chapter about in, uh, convenient samples. This is why it's sort of not very good. What if you said, you know what? I want to know whether people believe in the death penalty or not. OK? And so I decide to go ask. Um, inmates in a prison because it was convenient for me and ask them, hey, do you believe in the death penalty? What do you think they're going to say? Absolutely not. It's crazy. No. Oh, no, no, no. Is that right? So if I now try to say, you know, I took information from that, you know, this sample and this information represents how everybody feels, it's no good because it was a convenient sample. And one of the problems is Really, a lot of samples are convenient, and people really don't realize it. And it happens every day. Has anybody, who likes to go on the internet? Anybody, an internet junkie? Am I the only one? <laughs> Do you ever notice that very often they try to gather data? They want you to take a, they want you to answer some questions. They're going to take a, a, a poll or something, right? And they say, can you please respond? And the problem with that is, again, it's somewhat convenient. Because what's really happening? They're gathering data from people who choose to what? Answer or respond. That does not reflect how people necessarily feel. It happens all the time. OK? Um, so that's another sort of convenient sample. No good. Doesn't represent truly how people feel. It just represents how people 